What's going on, everybody? It's Dave here from Profitable Tools, and we're back talking about Modic again. Now, if this is your first experience with Modic, and maybe the video you're about to see is interesting to you, make sure you head back and check out my installation guide. Modic is a self-hosted platform, so you'll need to learn how to install it. I also have a separate video about connecting Modic up to Amazon SES so that you can send emails to all of your contacts for about 10 cents per 1,000 emails that you send out. So Modic is a really great deal if you're willing to put in a little bit of the extra work to get things set up and configured properly. As you're about to see in this video, it's actually fairly simple to use once you've gone through all of these hurdles to get started. All right, so without further ado, let's hop over to Modic. Now, this video is going to be all about how to send emails to your contacts, but it's important to know that in order to send an email inside of Modic, a contact has to be part of a segment. So let's get started creating a segment. Over here on the left-hand sidebar, go ahead and click Segments and then hit add new. Now it's important to know that contacts can be part of more than one segment and how you decide to segment out your contacts will be specific to your business. But I'll give you an example here. Let's say I've got a free PDF guide on my website. When someone downloads it, I want them to be added to a segment of people who have downloaded that guide. All right, I'll call this PDF downloaders. And then I'll go over to filters. Now this is how we're actually going to decide which contacts get added to this segment or not. In my case, I'm going to tag someone when they download a PDF on my website. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the tag filter and choose that right here. And I want the tag to include, and I'm just gonna say opt-in. All right, great, that's all set up. I'll hit save and close. And here we go. Here is our first segment of PDF downloaders. Now let's say that after someone downloads my PDF, I wanna send them two or three more emails, maybe make them some offers for relevant services to the PDF that they just downloaded. In Modic, the best way to do this is to head over to channels and go ahead and start to add in the emails that you want to send to them. Don't worry, we're not gonna talk about scheduling quite yet. Inside of emails, I'll click add new. Now I'm faced with a choice. I can either create a new template email or a new segment email. Now this is very confusing because we just created a segment, so don't we want to create a segment email for them? Instead of calling them template emails and segment emails, let's call them autoresponders and broadcasts, right? So these emails over here where it says template, they're gonna be part of your campaigns, your drip sequences, and segment emails are gonna be one-time emails that go out like a broadcast. For this purpose, of course, we're creating template emails, so I'll select this. Next, I can choose one of Modic's built-in themes. Now, I'll mention that it is possible to create your own theme or download themes from off the internet and upload them to Modic. It's very easy to do so, just click on the gear in the upper right hand corner, choose themes, and you can go ahead and install your own themes right here. But for now, we're just going to stick with the default themes. I generally like to write plain text emails. I find that they convert much better. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this blank theme. It's very important to choose the theme before you begin to write your email. Once you get into things, you can't go back and change your theme easily. You'll wipe out all of the progress that you've made. All right, there's just a couple things that are required here. We have to give our email a subject and an internal name. This is what we'll be referring to as we build out our campaign. So use something that's identifiable here. I often like to number my sequences so that it's very easy for me as I'm building out the campaign to see what order things are in. Next, let's open up the email builder. Over here, we can type in our email. Now, this isn't a WYSIWYG editor. In fact, Modic's big weak point is its building experience, whether you're building forms, landing pages, or emails. It's really just not a great experience. So you can use something like Be Free, which is an email template builder. This works especially well if you're sending out e-commerce emails where you might wanna have a lot more control over the graphic design experience. From here, you just create the email right inside of Be Free and copy and paste it over into Modic. But for this, we're just going to do a plain text email. I can go full screen in the editor over here, and I find this is a much easier way if I'm actually composing the email inside of Modic. It's a much easier way to focus rather than having kind of the split view. The editing tools are very similar to something you might find inside of WordPress or really any text editor. We can select text, create links, upload images. You can resize the image easily. And of course, there's personalization tags. So if I wanted to include the first name of someone I was writing to, I can easily do that with a curly bracket. I'll just type first name and there we go. It'll automatically dynamically insert the contact's first name when the email gets sent so that everybody gets a personalized email. All right, let's hit apply and close this email up and I'll hit save and close. Back over on our email screen, we can see I've got one email entered. Let me go ahead and just add a couple more. I'll be right back. All right, here we go. I've got three emails created 
created, the next thing to do is, of course, create the campaign. Before we do that, I do want to point out there is a little bit of analytics on this screen. We can see how many emails have been sent for this particular template email. We've also got how many have been read. So from that, it gives you a percentage. So just a quick kind of bird's eye view of some metrics. There are a lot more reporting metrics available to you inside of Modic, but there's some things that you can kind of just get used to seeing at a glance as well. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and build out our drip sequence here for these three emails. I'll head over to campaigns, hit new. Let's give this campaign a name. Now let's launch the campaign builder. The first thing that's gonna ask you when you create a new campaign is what is the source? Who are we gonna be sending these emails to? Of course, we're gonna be sending them to people who are part of a segment. So let's go ahead and choose the segment we created at the beginning of this video. Contact segments, and here's our PDF downloader segment. I'll hit add. To get started, let's hit the plus button at the bottom of this rectangle, and we've got three options. We can create a decision, an action, or a condition. Right now, we're going to take an action. I'll choose that. And the action is going to be to send an email. I'll go ahead and type in email here, and there's the option I want. I'm going to call this initial email. I'm going to have this email get sent a few hours after someone receives their PDF. So I'm going to do at a relative time period, and I'll change this to three and choose hours. So now they'll receive this email three hours after they've been added to this campaign. I'm gonna choose the email that gets sent out. Here you can see all three emails that I've already created or you can create one right from the screen. I do recommend just creating all the emails right inside of the channel screen. It's a lot easier to manage. For the email type, I can choose between transactional emails and marketing emails. Basically, the difference here is that transactional emails get sent more than once. So someone can fill out a form and get the PDF resent to them over and over again or a marketing email can only be delivered once. However, when you choose marketing emails, you can actually have the email attempted to be delivered more than one time in case there's some issue with hitting their inbox. Because I'm not actually delivering the PDF inside of this sequence, I'm just going to have them download it right after they fill out the form. I'm going to choose marketing email because that's really what the type of email I plan to send out. All right, let's hit add. Great, so now we can see that after someone's been added to our segment, they're gonna get added to this campaign where after three hours, they will receive our first email. Now, at this point, we could follow the traditional route and maybe wait another day or two and send them another email. But what if we got things a little bit more involved here? I'm gonna go ahead and click plus and choose decision. Here, I'm gonna choose open email. So now I've got two options over here on the green side would assume that someone has opened the email and on the right side would assume that they haven't opened the email. And if they haven't opened the email, maybe I want to send it to them again. It could be a very important email. They can't miss it. Maybe the second email doesn't make sense unless they've read the first. Let's go ahead and click this and I will choose action. Choose send email. I'll call this resend email number one. Let's wait two days to do this. I'll go back to email number one and let's hit add. Now I'm trying to demonstrate the features for you here, but I just realized a fault in my logic. I just explained to you how this email will only be sent once regardless of how many times it's requested. So what I really need to do is change this to a transactional email. Maybe this is the result of a quiz or it's the PDF download that they requested. In that case, it would be a transactional email and it might be important that they receive those results before they get future contact from your marketing team. All right, with that slight logic error corrected, let's go ahead and proceed. I'm gonna create another email right here. We'll choose Choose action, send, choose email, and here's gonna be email number two. I'll have this send after two days as well. But you know what? I don't wanna bother my contacts after work hours, so I'm gonna choose between the hours of 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. And of course, I only wanna send this on the weekdays, so I'll check that button right over here. This is gonna be email number two, and this one will be a marketing email. Let's go ahead and add it. If someone's read two or three or four of your emails, you might want to start to give them a little bit more attention. You've got some options on how we can do that inside of Modic. A common way to do this would be simply to automatically tag them and insert them into another drip campaign. Well, that's pretty easy to do inside of Modic. Again, we'd go ahead and create a decision over here and choose open email. Give that a name and hit add. And let's say if they open this email rather than just sending them another one, I also want to modify their tags. I'll hit the green side over here and choose action. This time I'll type in tags. Here it is, modify contacts tags. And we'll give them another tag, call them hot lead. I could also remove tags at this stage, which is important to note. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the tag on and let's hit add. Now, after we've tagged them hot lead, let's go ahead and send off our third and final email with the plus button down here, take an action, 
send an email. Now you might notice there's a little bug happening on the screen right now inside of Modic. This happens quite frequently. I'd say maybe once an hour or so while I'm working inside of Modic, this little uh, message will just not go away. So I've really got two options here. I can, can finish whatever I'm doing. Let's say I'm just gonna add another email in over here, which is pretty easy to do. I'll send this off after another two days and hit add. All right, so now that I've added my third email, I'm pretty much done with this campaign. But if I needed to get rid of this screen, really what I need to do is hit apply so that my changes sync in and then I can just refresh the page. Let's open up the campaign builder again and sure enough, that little defect is gone. All right, so let's quickly summarize the sequence we've just built out here. When someone's added to our segment, they'll get enrolled in this campaign. After three hours, they're gonna get an initial email from us. If they open that email, they'll go ahead and get email number two. If they don't open that email, we send it again to them. Then if they open up both email one and email two, we're gonna add an additional tag, which could trigger an entirely different sequence of events. In fact, we could just end this campaign right here if we wanted to. Uh, but in this case, we go ahead and send them one additional email as well. So you can probably see that the potential for very complex email campaigns is here inside of Modic, although it could certainly be as easy as just firing off 10 emails in 10 days, not really paying attention to clicks or opens. All right, let's close this builder. Now, before we wrap up this video, we're also gonna talk about how to send off broadcasts or one-time emails. This could be a weekly alert that you send out, something like that. Let's go back over to channels and choose emails, create a new email. Now, this time we're gonna choose segment emails. Remember, those are the broadcasts. Let's select that. All right, let's choose a template. We'll be a little bit more creative here. Let's choose this sparse template. It's got some graphic elements. Let's go ahead and give this a subject line. We need to give it an internal name so that we can easily identify it later. And finally, we have to choose a segment. Who is this email gonna go out to? Well, in this case, I only have one segment created. So let me go ahead and choose my PDF downloader audience. Let's hit apply here. And let's open this up inside of the builder. Now we can go ahead and customize my email however I see fit. When I'm done editing my email, of course, I'm gonna wanna send it. Now I've got two options here. I can either send it right away or I can schedule it to be sent at a predetermined time. Sending it right away is definitely the easiest thing to do. So we'll just head back to the emails screen here. I'm gonna open up the email I just created and just hit the send button. From here, it's gonna ask you how many emails you wanna send in a batch and you just enter a number, go ahead and hit send. Now, I don't have any contacts, so there's no emails to be sent. I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel here. Now, if I wanted to schedule this email to to go out, I need two things. I need to have a publish date and I also need to have a cron job installed. So setting the publish date is really easy. We can just go to the edit screen right here and we'll go down to the publish time. Let's say I wanted this to go out at Monday uh, at nine o'clock. I'll hit save and close and I would be all set. But this email is not gonna go out without a particular cron job installed. Now, you only have to do this once and it'll be set for all of the future emails that you send out. But we do have to roll up our sleeves and connect to our server via SSH. Once you're logged into your server, you're gonna go ahead and type sudo cron tab dash E, hit enter, you're gonna see all of the cron jobs that are currently running on your system. Go ahead and go down to the very last line and let's go ahead and set this up to run every single minute of every single hour. Now I'm gonna have a dedicated cron job video coming out. So if these numbers are stars in this case are confusing to you, just go ahead and wait a little bit until that new video gets published. Who knows, by the time you watch this, it might already be out. Now I'm assuming you already have some cron jobs running, otherwise Modic is not functional at this point. So you're gonna wanna follow the path that you already have set inside of your cron job editor. So let's go ahead and copy this in one more time and I'm gonna add in this cron job right here, modic colon broadcast colon send. Once that's all set up, go ahead and hit control X to exit and save. And now we're all set up. Our emails will go out at the published time because our cron job will be running at every single minute. So I hope you've learned a little bit about creating and sending emails in Modic. If Modic's interesting to you, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I do have more great Modic content on deck. Of course, I mentioned the cron job video. I'm also gonna create a video about how to get contacts off of your WordPress website and into Modic. And it doesn't involve using the builders inside of Modic at all because they're giant train wrecks. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit like if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.